it girlies it's Tammy welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a big huge announcement for you guys but also I'm going to be talking you through how I do my graphic liner looks they're easier than you would think but you just need to have a steady hand so first of all let's start with my announcement I've been hinting at this for the past few weeks I have fallen in love with graphic liners as you guys may know I use them in nearly every single look I do neutral looks with a pop of graphic liner I do colorful looks with graphic liner so of course guys I am coming out with my own graphic liner they're actually available on my website now, so feel free to check it out. The link will be in the description box, but I have 12 colors and this is what they look like. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so they are water activated cake liners. So you basically wet your brush, swirl it in there and it uh, activates the liner. I'm so excited, I can't get the words out. Then you just draw them on however you want and they dry down. They're smudge proof, transfer proof, all of that good stuff, but they're not waterproof because of course they're water activated. So yeah, they come in this cute, diamond jar and there's five grams of product in here so it's going to last you forever and they retail for five pounds you know me with my affordable prices always going to give you guys the best deal it's really early in the morning by the way that's why my eyes are still a little bit puffy but I didn't want my neighbors to ruin this video so I'm filming before they get up <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys all of the shades that I do so first of all one of my favorite colors lilac this is of course a lilac color like a pastel purple then we have the shade cupcake which is a pastel pink then we have the shade peach which is a light pastel pastel orange we have honeydew which is a light pastel green and then we have lemon which is a pastel yellow and sky which is a pastel blue then I also have coconut which is the white now moving on to the neon shades we have heart which is the neon pink we have buttercup which is the neon yellow pumpkin which is the neon orange and last but not least we have ocean which is the dark navy blue so these are all of the shades that I do guys 12 shades in total possibly with more to come if you guys like it but these and just shades that I wanted to start with because these are colors that I use all the time. So I think what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to do a simple graphic liner and then I'm going to show you how you can jazz it up with a simple easy step. Now what I do is put a little bit of water into the lid. Now taking my liner brush, these are paint brushes, paint detail brushes from Amazon. I'll leave a link down below and I'm just going to dip it into the water, get it nice and soaking wet and then I just swirl it right into the liner to get it nice and consistent, like a nice creamy opaque consistency you don't want it too watery but you also don't want it too thick because then it won't drag nicely so you just want to get a nice in-between consistency and usually what I do is test it on the back of my hand to see if it's nice and opaque or if it's too watery all of that stuff I hope this comes out nicely because like I said it's really early in the morning so I don't know if I'm ready to do this so I like to start right here and then just drag it along you can also okay so for beginners you can use dots to kind of map out where you're going usually I just do it freehand because I've been doing liners for a while but if you I'm going to show you how to do like a beginner way so you just dot 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 so you kind of know where the line's gonna go and then you just connect the dots like that now I'm gonna clean off the brush so we can move on to the next color. You can do this all with one color if you want, but I want to show you guys like obviously most of the shades that I offer. I start with a really thin line and then you can obviously go ahead and build it up and make it thicker once, it, once it's all mapped out. And then also with the brush, I don't press down super hard because that will make the liner go thicker. So I just use kind of like the tip of the brush and gently light handedly drag it across. That way you'll get a nice thin light handed line. Next going into the shade Lilac, which is the pastel purple. Starting with the dots. So now we kind of have the simple graphic liner down. Now I'm gonna work on the line connecting it from my eye to the liner. And for that, I'm gonna take the shade Sky, which is the pastel blue. Starting on the edge of the eye, I'm just gonna do dot, 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 dot. And then connect it up. 
Now that you have this simple colourful graphic liner down you can go ahead and make it thicker, you can jazz it up. So I'm going to start by making it slightly thicker but not too crazy thick. Okay so that is the liner, I'm happy with the thickness now. You could even do like a line of a different colour or the same colours across your actual lash line but I'm not going to do that today. So this is the basic graphic liner but I'm going to show you guys how you can add such a simple step and make it even more fun. So a few weeks ago I did the paint bubbles type of liner and it was so easy to do but loads of you guys said oh my god I could never do that so I just wanted to show you how easy it is it's kind of like almost messing up your liner on purpose what you want to do is literally add little bubbles onto the liner so effectively you just add little circles onto the top of the liner and then around it you want to make little dots some bigger, some smaller. Really easy to do, but really effective way to just jazz up your liner. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with every single color. Just going in little circular motions. Also, I just wanted to say you want to make sure that your eye area is set with powder just to make sure your concealer doesn't mix in with the liners. And yeah, that is it guys. That's how you get the super easy graphic bubble liner. Okay, so on this side, I think I'm going to go for one colour. I'm going to use the neon pink, which is called Heart, and I'm just going to do a through the crease and across the lash line as well. You can do this on top of eyeshadow, I've done that as well, like I did a black smoky eye and then I put the pink right through the crease as a graphic liner. So first of all, I'm gonna carry it across the lash line like a normal wing. Like that, and now I'm gonna do one from the inner corner, starting right here again and connect that to the wing. Now, once again, you can use the dot method or you can freehand it depending on how confident you feel. Like that. And once you've got the shape laid down, then you can go in and manipulate it, make it fatter, make it, you know, whatever you wanna do with it. So I think to jazz mine up, I'm gonna take coconut, which is the white eyeliner, and I'm gonna do like a squirrely line going around it. Now this is of course a bit more intermediate, I guess. Now I've got coconut on my brush. I'm not gonna talk through this part because it requires a lot of like attention, but you guys will see what I'm doing. So that is kind of the snake vibe that I'm going for. Now I'm gonna go back in and re-intensify it, make it a little bit more thicker. Just use the tip, very tip of your brush, light pressure and just gently, light as a feather, a feather? <laughs> light as a feather, you know, move your hand. Okay, so that is the snake and that is how you jazz up a simple graphic liner. It is a little bit, I will admit the snake is a little bit hard because you have to kind of get the precision really nice around the liner. But once you get the technique down, you can definitely practice it and then perfect it. And yeah, this is it guys. So these are my new cake liners. So I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face, put some lashes and lipstick on and I'll come back to you. Okay guys, so face is more or less complete. I was just doing my lower lash line and I thought I would share this with you as well you can also take the liners and use them as a mascara like colored mascaras on your lower lash line if you want to don't put them in the waterline because they're water activated they're not going to stick to your waterline so as you can see on this side i took the white and i literally used the same eyeliner brush and just paint it on like that it's not going to lengthen and thicken and whatever but it's definitely going to color your lashes to the same color as your graphic liner get some on the brush and literally just paint the lower lashes 
And yeah, these are the final looks, guys. What do you think? I'm so excited for this launch. I really hope you love them as much as I do. And I really hope this video was helpful if you are new to graphic liners. So just quickly about the liners, they are five gram diamond jars. They're five pounds each and they're cruelty free and vegan. Some of the shades are also UV activated. So they do glow in the dark or glow in black light activated, black light lighting. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm also wearing my lashes in the style Mia. And yeah that is it from me please give this video a thumbs up make sure you are shopping my website makeupbytammy.com and make sure you're subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye